So during third period, we have announcements and they do the Pledge of Allegiance. I always tell my class, stand if you feel like it, don't stand if you feel like it, say the words if you want, don't have to say the words. So my class decided to stand but not say the words totally fine. Except for the fact that my room does not have a flag. It used to be there, but I took it down during COVID because it made me uncomfortable. And um, I packed it away and I don't know where, and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> but my kid today goes, hey, um, it's kind of weird that we just stand and then, you know, we say it to nothing. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I got to find it. Like I'm working on it. I got you. In the meantime, I tell this kid, we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to. And he like looks around and he goes, oh, that one? <laughs> Welcome back to the Angry American. Now this teacher set me off, folks. After the video I made yesterday about those heroes, this liberal bitch, sorry, I gotta say it, liberal bitch teacher has kids pledge allegiance to the gay pride flag you're just shitting on our country the reason you have a right to do the bullshit that you do in your personal life you shouldn't be doing it at school period the school released a statement by the way about this incident and uh said uh you know a personal video how is it a personal video she did it on school property in a school classroom funded by the taxpayer that isn't her fucking house that isn't, you know, outside of the park. That is inside the school. She is... <laughs> Let's move on with the story here. It says a liberal teacher at California High School has kids pledge allegiance to the pride flag. The gay pride flag. And let me, let me get this out of the way real quick, folks. I don't give a shit if you're gay or straight or somewhere in between. I don't care. And most Americans don't care. You know, these commie idiots are using all of these labels to de-unify this country. The Pledge of Allegiance is meant to unify a country. Have you ever heard the term divide and conquer? It's one of the commies, the socialist, best weapons. They come in and they put everybody into groups. Instead of being Americans, now you're gay, you're, you're bi, you're straight, you're black, you're Latino. We're not Americans. And that's how they break down a country. People like this, teaching your kids this bullshit, is going to cause a big effing problem for you and the country. Because they're de-unifying this country with this type of liberal agenda, commie bullshit. Putting everybody into categories is, is breaking the country in half. We can't have one nation under God with this type of bullshit and you can even you can even take the word god out we can't even have one nation with this type of bullshit we've got all these different tribes and they've done their damnedest over the past few years to split this country in half based on party lines whether you're gay whether you're straight whether you're black whether you're white and this bitch is perpetuating that narrative to your children paid for by you how do you feel about that? That should make you angry as hell. Now let's go on with the story. It looks like the liberal teachers at California high schools are so emboldened that they post themselves straight to social media with videos how they indoctrinate children. Listen, if I had a kid in the school, holy shit. Holy fook. I would be, oh my God, I'd be down there at that school. They would hate me. You hear me? They would hate me. Let's move on. In this video uploaded to her previously public TikTok account, previously, bitch, what? Did you do something wrong? You damn straight you did. 11th grade high school teacher Kristen Pitson, teacher at Back Bay High School in Newport Mesa Unified School District, revealed that she doesn't make kids say the Pledge of Allegiance, and she shouldn't make them. You know, she shouldn't make them say it. Okay, I'm not saying that. Okay, let's move on. And that she also doesn't have the Star Spangled Banner in her classroom. That's the problem. Pitson claims that she took the flag down during COVID-19 pandemic 
because it made her feel uncomfortable. What, bitch? The, the thousands and thousands of lives that were lost to build this country that gives you a right to sit there and fucking giggle in, in, in a <laughs> taxpayer-funded classroom making your little TikTok videos, bitch? That makes you uncomfortable? Bill Maher did uh, a commentary. I'm gonna play you a little bit of that right now, and then we'll get back to the story. But it, it, you know, even Bill Maher, who is by no means a conservative, okay, he lays it out for you. Let's take a look at that clip. And finally, new rule: blind hatred of America is just as blinkered as blind love, and we, and we Americans should really get some perspective about where we live. Watching the shit go down in Afghanistan, I was reminded lately of every conversation I've ever had with an immigrant, almost all of which, if we got to really talking, included the notion, oh, you people have no idea. All you do is bitch about and badmouth your own country, but if you knew about the country I came from, you'd stop shitting on your own. There's a reason Afghan mothers are handing their babies to us. I mean, even that dude gets it right. You people who hate on this country, hate on our flag, you don't even get the whole meaning of the Pledge of Allegiance. You idiots. You don't mind uh, banding together and loving on each other and having pride for your gay shit. Well, guess what? You wouldn't even have an opportunity to do that in a country like Afghanistan. <laughs> They're going to take your ass and throw you straight off a fucking roof. Or straight out a fucking window. Moving on. Teacher mocks the American flag. Yeah, we, we saw that one. I think this is one we already watched. Okay, so during third period, yeah, we have I'm going to watch that one again. Let This one. This one. This outfit blows me away. What a fucking clown this bitch is. Look at her. She looks like she's fucking eight years old. Why are you dressed like that? That'd be like a fucking teacher coming in dressed as a fucking priest. It would look ridiculous. Unless you're at a fucking Catholic school, it would look ridiculous. You look ridiculous. What is this? The Great Space fucking Coaster? <laughs> Man, what? Oh, 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 oh. I, uh, I uh, thanks, knock knock. <laughs> I'm sure my age on that one, but what the hell is this? Let's move on. She, uh, she shows off all the pride flags in her classroom and says, I pledge allegiance to the queers. So disrespectful, bitch. So disrespectful. Let's, let's play this. This one's going to make you cringe and your blood pressure rise. It's Pride Month! Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> I will never not be awkward. <laughs> That's fun for me. Happy Pride, everyone! It's June 1st, the start of Pride Month. Here's what I got going in my classroom. I got these flags from Tar- Bitch is so proud of herself being a fucking clown forget in like the dollar bin so that's amazing um they didn't have all of them in the collection that they came out with so i got all the ones that they had as well as the inclusive <laughs> pride flag i pledge allegiance to the queers i also got a really big we gotta stop it right there let's listen to that one again let's hear that again i pledge allegiance to the queers I also got a play. really big pride inclusive ah, flag. Um, I need to put it up still, but it's going to go up there and I need like a ladder. I need like a ladder. Bitch, if I went into the classroom and found that shit on the wall, I'm going straight to the fucking school administrator and uh, the, the principal's office, okay? I'm going straight to the principal's office and demanding that that propaganda be taken off the effing wall. You hear me? Let's move on. And another video posted to TikTok shows all our different... Yeah, that's the one we just watched. Uh, libs of TikTok is where a lot of this comes from. If you haven't peeped Libs of TikTok, man, if you want to get your cringe on, go watch some of that shit. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculousness. Southern California High School 
uh, teacher, English teacher, unsure, e unsure exact school. If you have any leads, please DM me. Uh, so anyway, there's some stupid tweets. Uh, some comments on Pitson's videos reveal that many parents and other teachers share the same views as Pitson regarding, you know what, I'm going to call BS on this because it's not many, it's the few. We are many. We are legion. They just talk a lot and we sit back and we try to be courteous and we try not to be confrontational, but the time for that has ended. We've got to start standing up to these idiots and demanding that they do what they're paid to do and not make stupid TikTok videos dressed like they're on the Great Space Coaster in our fucking classrooms. And don't you push your lefty bullshit on my child. This is not a place for indoctrination. This is a place for 2 plus 2 equals 4, not 5, as you probably want to tell them pretty soon. The level of indoctrination going on at public schools is deeply disturbing and completely unimaginable how you could push anti-American values on students, especially given recent tragic events in Kabul. And that goes hand in hand with what I said in the beginning of the video about this one set me off after watching these heroes. She should be ashamed of herself. Now I want to show you something real quick, peoples. You must know why the Pledge of Allegiance is so important. The Pledge of Allegiance, written in 1892, is an oath or symbol of loyalty of the Americans toward their flag and country. Alright. The Pledge, uh, we read that. Uh, the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States flag is a promise or oath of loyalty to the Republic of United States of America. Now let's go on down here. Let's go on down here, down here, down here, down here. I want to get to the facts. Here we go. Today, the... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I promise to be true uh, to the flag, the symbol of our country, uh, of the United States of America. Each state has joined to make our country and to the republic. A republic is a country where the people choose their reps. See, the people to make laws for, for them, that is the government for the people. Now, what are you guys seeing out there now? You're seeing... <laughs> people for the government? I mean, it's like flip-flopped. We're in bizarro world right now. We're headed down a dangerous path. For which it stands, the flag, meaning the country, one nation, a single nation, under God, the people believe in a supreme being, indivisible, the country not, cannot be split into parts. This is a breakdown of each uh, line. Indivisible. What do you think they're doing? They're daily splitting us in two parts. LGBTQ. Latin. Latin X. I don't say that shit. That's on the lib libtard idiots. Okay. I don't say that shit. Uh, it's Latin to me. Okay. Or for, for real. If you're in this country. It's American. I don't give a fuck. Black. White. Whatever. Who cares? You're an American. Thank you. Moving on. With liberty and justice. With freedom and fairness. For all, for each person in the country, you and me. By reciting the Pledge of Allegiance, every American promises to be true to the United States of America. The freedom available will not be taken for granted, and each American will remember the countless men, women, and children who have given their lives through the centuries so that they can live peacefully today. That's what this libtard, giggling idiot does not get and it's really <laughs> it's really a shame how much these socialist George Soros funded idiots have gotten into our country they've been in higher education for years but now they're trying to teach that same garbage to your child you guys need to uh, get to your school board meetings I've seen a lot of it going on keep it up I'm proud of you we got to put an end to this, guys. This trajectory is very messy. Pretty soon this country will split apart and we're going to be in big trouble. Let's get on it. Let's mock these idiots and make them stop. That's all we can do. Go complain about them. Be heard. Time for being quiet and courteous is over. They're never quiet and courteous. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Ever heard that one? 
There's another one. There's another one. I'm full of them. <laughs> anyway, guys, till next time. We got we to gotta stop this noise, okay? Please and thank you. Uh, I need you to uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Smash that notification bell. Very important. And hit all notifications. Come on, you can do it. Uh, and share the video. Got to get the word out. Hear me? These types of idiots cannot be allowed to run rampant. And that's what they're doing. And, and you, you're going to hate your own kid if you let this continue. Because they're going to come home and espouse the shit that she's putting in their head. You don't want that. Anyway, guys, until next time. This is the Angry American saying peace. Peace. Out. I don't get it, Tim. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international effort to pressure. True and international effort to pressure. What kind of country are we going to be? Four more years of George... Uh... Georgia, he uh, is going to find our... Thank you.